Andy? It's Amy, actually. I'll be out of here in just a moment. I was wondering, do you have a second to talk? Sure. When you were helping produce 9 to 5 on Broadway, did you ever stop to think about just how talented Dolly Parton was, but how you might never have thought about it? I mean, today she's a country megastar, but, but before that, how many people thought, oh, she looks pretty cheap and funny, and sure, she's got a great voice, but she can't even read music. And even so, she's managed to make herself into one of the best-selling artists in history. Now, I'm not trying to say that I'm Dolly Parton, uh, obviously. Um, but I do think that I have skills that would be very valuable to this organization, even if I might not seem like it from first impressions or my resume alone. May I learn very fast. I think I've shown that in the time that I've been here. I, I filed with the best of them. I even got that Michelin restaurant sponsorship. And I think I would make a great hired, paid employee. Damn, I already did that. Well, frankly, I'm not really involved in this decision. You gotta talk with Cheryl. Oh, I, um, I thought you'd be making the call. Well, when you're in this business, you realize there's only so many things that can command your attention. Think about Dolly Parton, hmm? That is unlike any pitch I've ever heard. Andy, can you come in here for a second? Sorry, didn't mean to rub it in. Oh, that's okay. You should be happy, celebrating. I guess. It's just an unfortunate system, I guess. Yeah, well, best man wins. <laughs> when do you leave? Monday. Unless they jacked up the ticket prices between this morning and now and Amy? Sit down, Amy. I really appreciate you taking me on board for these last four weeks. It's, um... I've uh, never been one for chit-chat, and I have a 3.30 appointment. So, we'll make this speedy, shall we? As I'm sure you've already realized, we hired Andy. We're really looking forward to working with him. He has got the intelligence and desire to make this work well. But I just wanted to let you know, Amy, you've impressed me. You have a lot of drive and people smarts on most days. Ruth told me that you approached her this morning, a little late perhaps, but that's exactly the kind of fight instinct I like to see. Thank you. My friend, Andrea Keegan, is looking for a new hire. She has this entertainment company uh, promoting Broadway-style acts. It requires a lot of dedication, talent, and an entrepreneurial spirit. But she just might take a chance on you, if you audition. Thank you. You're almost there, kid. Almost at 
putting it together Almost, almost feeling like I am in control Almost through the patch of bad weather Almost, almost feeling like I could reach my goal Whenever I start to doubt and disbelieve Whenever I start to think I am too naive I've made progress Almost, almost got my foot wedged in the door Time to change into my best dress Cause this little girl is going to score Whenever I start to doubt and disbelieve Whenever I start to think I am too naive I can taste it I'm so ready to follow through Cut this one chance I can't waste it Got to trust my gut and take its cue Whenever I start to doubt and disbelieve Whenever I start to think I am too naive Think almost, I've almost, I've almost, almost got it to get the, got it to get the, got it to get the, got it to get the. If you can perform like that every day, at these times listed, then I think you just might have booked your first job, young lady. <laughs> 61 days and counting, and tomorrow I start a new job. That pays. 9.95 an hour. Hey, Phil, you said it's pretty rare to be paid to do the thing you love. Well, look at this small town girl now. Hey, you're downstairs? Okay, I'll be down in a second. You made it! Oh my god, this place is fantastic! I just like the details on the building. The brownstone. That's what it's called, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, so welcome. Oh my god, I'm gonna live in a brownstone? That is so very New York. Oh Have you ever god. been to New York before? Nope, it's my first time. Oh, the first time I left JFK, I realized I can't leave this city. Not in three months, not ever. Three months? Oh, Baka, this is so cute. Oh wow, I love you so much. Oh, how many floors? Enough to make a New Yorker out of you in no time. <laughs> 